Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. Well, there's all kinds of crazy things going on right now in the world. We are getting reports in that there was a cyber attack that's been launched on Israeli critical infrastructure. Power outages are reported everywhere across Israel. And then, of course, I got this uh, post as well that uh, the Iranians are claiming that they actually launched this cyber attack and that uh, they're the ones that uh, caused 30 terabyte of data from different Israeli services to be totally destroyed as a result of that. Uh, now, whether or not that's actually true or not, we don't know, uh, but they are showing some information on the screen here. And again, I don't know if this is all true or not, uh, but it's what they're showing. And I guess they're trying to give you some of the proof of what they have done. I think it's interesting they call themselves Moses Staff. Isn't that interesting? Uh, that's kind of an interesting note right there to see that. Uh, and of course, them showing all the data destruction that they were actually doing. So I guess they're putting out their proof to make their point very clear as to what they have done. Uh, besides that, we also have also U.S. retaliates in Iraq after three U.S. troops wounded in an attack. Uh, this comes here. It says uh, the U.S. military carried out retaliation airstrikes on Monday in Iraq after a one-way drone attack earlier in the day by Iran aligned militants that left one U.S. service member in critical condition and wounded two other U.S. personnel, according to what officials said there. So definitely things are starting to heat up. We also know that the Israeli airstrikes in Damascus killed a high-ranking Iranian general. Uh, according to what Iran has said, they are vowing revenge for Saeed Razi Mousavi. Uh, they have shown little animations of them targeting Netanyahu. Uh, but, uh, you know, really, who knows where that's going to lead. Also, RT is reporting that the Ukraine may surrender and may be imminent at any time. Russian defense minister is now reporting military forces have taken most of Donetsk and all of Maryanka. Uh, let's listen in here from RT. Ah, uh, wait a minute. I just realized you guys may not be able to hear that. I think we actually have that part of the sound off. Let me turn that on. Hang on and let's jump back over to it. Outside of the city of Donetsk, Marinka has been liberated and it has been a very, very long road. The fighting for this town has been ongoing since 2014 at a different level of intensity, of course. But with the beginning of Russia's special military operation in Ukraine, it, of course, intensified heavily. And it was a very hard fought battle well, on both sides, I have to say. Basically, the Ukrainian forces, they very quickly evicted all locals and they turned and every single rustic house, every single apartment block into a stronghold. So it wasn't uncovered. Wow, that is insane when you look at the devastation. There is no town left. Might as well just bull the whole, bulldoze the whole place down. There is no town left whatsoever. Uh, this here, I don't know what to think about this. This video here is uh, allegedly because of CERN opening up a portal. Now, the thing is, I do know that the capability that CERN has does do exactly this type of event here. But uh, I'm going to just play this, let you guys look at this and see what you think. Oh. This was CERN being powered up and a vortex being opened as a result. I don't know how long this video would stay out there public if it really is authentic. Uh, but this is over Geneva, Switzerland. only imagine you go to play seen in. that you seen that come out of the clouds man what was that hold on jack i gotta rewind that is wild i'm stephen benoon you're watching israeli news live thank you thank you for your support as well we thank you for your support this year uh, that you've given to our channel as well. We want to thank you. You can visit our website, israelinewslive.org. Uh, you can donate directly online or via mail. Uh, our mailing address, to Noon Institute, P.O. Box 156, Sunbright, Tennessee, 37872. We're going to be for a very eventful year. By the way, we just loaded another video over on our Patreon channel. Definitely check that out, patreon.com forward slash Israeli News Live. I'll put that in the description below for you. 
and we'll be loading several more over the next couple of days. God bless.